Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn fixed LOD in Tableau. Very important concept. Not just in Tableau, we will implement LOD in SQL using two methods. This will be a detailed video on fixed LOD. Do watch it till end. You are going to learn in a fun way. Okay. So for this video, I am using a uh, superstore data set. The data set is there in my SQL server as well. As you can see. If you want to follow along, I will put the link of this data set in the description box. You can get it, import the data and you can follow along with me. Okay. So I have the orders data set. Simple. I have order ID. We have category, subcategory, typical, uh, 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 maybe Amazon orders. You can consider we have Amazon order date, ship date, ship mode. We have different categories, office supplies, binder, subcategories, right? So what is fixed LOD? So let's understand with an example. Let's say, let's say I have category here. Let's put category. Okay. So I'm putting category and then I'm putting sales. Okay. So how Tableau works is the aggregation of your, of your measures, right? So some of sales, it is giving based on category. So whatever granularity of your view, so currently the granularity is category because only category dimension is there. So it is telling you that for each category, this is the sum of sales, right? So if we have to look at it, look at this numbers in SQL, it will be simply category, right? Sum of sales group by category, right? So this will give you for each category, what is the total sales? So basically whatever dimension you are adding here, they are getting added in the group by clause. So for office supply 719047, office supply 719047, it, it is same. It is just rounded off, right? But it is same number. If you see 836154, 836154, right? So this is how this happens. Now if you add subcategory as well, right? So you add subcategory in your dimension, right? So you have category, subcategory and then sum of sales. So now granularity is category and subcategory. So if you add subcategory here, again, same thing, right? So you just have to add subcategory and the same thing in group by and your category and subcategory wise total sales it will give, which is similar to what you get in Tableau. So this is how Tableau works. Whatever dimension you put in your view, that becomes your granularity. All your aggregation will happen on that granularity. So all the columns, dimension columns will be a group by in SQL and you will get sum of sales, right? So for example, office supply art 27118, office supply art 27119. It is again rounded off. So that is fine. Okay. Now what if my requirement is I want to see the sum of category also, the total sales of each category here. So what is the sum of this? So if I just select all this, Sum is 742000 if you see at the bottom, right? So I want to see that number here along with all subcategory, right? Now it is not possible normally, not possible normally in Tableau because whatever dimension you put, whatever dimension you put, the data will be aggregated on that. Now how you will see the sum of sales at category level. So that's where LOD comes into picture. LOD is level, level of detail. There are three kinds of LOD, fixed LOD, include and exclude. Today we are going to talk about fixed LOD. So what we can do in fixed LOD, we can tell Tableau that fix the data at this dimension and get the total sales. So what does that mean? So let me create a new, uh, new column. So I will say this category sales, right? Cat sales. And you have to put curly braces fixed and you want at category level sales okay and you will say sum of sales okay so this becomes your calculation if i just drag it category sales you see we are getting the sales at category level and it is repeating for each subcategory so it is 742000 742000 again this is the office supplies whatever is the total sales of office supplies you are able to see right right what is the advantage of this? We will see, we will see, but 
let's implement this in SQL now, right? So what I want, I want the sales at subcategory level as well as one more column where I have at category level total sales. Okay. So what I have to do. So let's say it is total sales. So I have sales at subcategory now. What I will do, I will derive sales at subcategory uh, category as well. So let's say this is with CT1 as this. Okay. And I will take one more CT, CT2. As here I will get sales at category level. So select category, comma sum of sales, right? As total sales. From I can do this from orders data set as well, or I already have category subcategory total sales. I can just use CT1, right? I don't have to hit that table again, right? And then go by category, right? So here I have at subcategory, here I have at category. I just need to join these two tables at, at category, right? So I'll say select from CT underscore one, right? Inner join CT underscore two. Let's say this is subcategory and this is category where SC dot SC dot category equal to C dot category, right? Right now here what I need, I need C dot category comma SC dot subcategory, right? And then sum of or, or not sum of, I can just take total sales. So SC dot total sales as sub category sales, right? Right? Okay, and then I have C dot total sales as now this is from this is from category come CT CT two it is coming right so T C dot total sales as uh, as category sales right so this this is what I can do and let's run this. So what I did, I derived at subcategory level total sales, category level, and joined these two at at category. So if you see for furniture, furnishing, I have subcategory sales 91705. And for all the furniture, this is repeating, right? Category sales, 741999. So if you see 741999, rounding off to 742000, right? I hope this is understood, right? So I have sales as category and subcategory. Then I I rolled it up at category level. Then I I am joining these two at category level, right? And so from the first city I am getting at subcategory, and for category I am just repeating it, right? So this is how I am getting the data. Now there is another way of doing it, right? There is an easier way of doing it. So I can do one more thing. I can just say with CT one as this, and then say select star from CT one. Okay, so this will give me uh, okay, CT underscore one. Okay, so here I have at category and subcategory total sales. Now, what I want to do, I want to do, I want uh, sum of sales at category level also. So I can use partition by here, right? So I will say sum of sales or sum of total sales right where here we are here we have total sales over partition by category right i wanted category level as category sales right and if i just run this i will get the same results that we got above Right, so if you see seven four one triple nine, that is seven four one seven four two triple zero. Right, so this is another easier way in SQL. So in SQL, we learned two ways of doing this, this thing CT1, where we have at category subcategory, then at category, and we are joining these two at category and getting all the columns. 
or we can just do partition by so i want the aggregation at category level right so it will just sum all the sub category sales for furniture and give you in the output okay so this is the easier way in sql okay so this is how we can replicate fixed lod in sql okay now why why we need this let's say you want the contribution of each sub category right so you want how much how much percentage of book say book cases we have sales out of all the sub category in the furniture which means 114880 divided by 7420 right this is what i want so i want in each of the category what is the percentage of sales by each sub category so i will just create a new column and say percentage contribution right and i will say sum of sales now i am saying just sum of sales which means the granularity views at category and sub category level right and then divided by i'll just multiply it by 1.0 otherwise we will get zero because it is an integer divided by integer okay into 1.0 divided by sum of cat sales right into 100 so this will be my percentage contribution and if i take it here so it tells me that out of total sales in furniture 50% contribution is by book cases so if you combine all these four contributions it will come out to be 100 right if you look in the bottom it is 100 right so this is your percentage contribution now again if i have to get this percentage contribution in sql what i need to do what i need to do i just need to divide this sales divided by this sales right so i i'll just say sum of total sales divided by this calculation right again i will do into 1.0 and into 100 right Let's close this in brackets as percent contribution let's run this uh okay we already have total sales so i don't have to do this my bad okay let's run this we already have total sales at sub category level right so if you see we are getting 12.35% of furnishing right in furniture category furnishing is 12.35% in furniture category furnishing is 12.35% here we have rounded off values but you understand right how we do it if we have to do in the above sql again it is simple i just need to divide divide sub category sales divide by category sales so let's do it quickly i'll just copy this this is my sub category sales divided by s percent contribution right i'll just do the same thing so that we don't get zero everywhere and wrap it in a this one into 100 and let's run this now we are getting again furnishing 12.35 right furnishing 12% it is rounded off okay i hope this this video makes sense so whenever you need something i'll just i'll just wrap it up whenever we need something in our view which is not at the granularity of the view right so granularity is category and sub category but we want sales at category level right so that's when lod comes into picture this was the fixed lod let me know in the comment section if you want me to explain the include and exclude as well using sql and like this video share this video and let me know if you want more videos on sql plus tableau thanks for watching have a great day